Hi, it's Michael from Men's Finest, and that's another very unusual video. The video you're about to see was recorded for Chad and his Gentleman's Journey YouTube channel. It's all about fragrances, so the video you will see in a second is all about fragrances. I'm going to be sniffing five different um, fragrances he sent me. Uh, it was loads of fun. Chad, I hope we can do something like that in the future as well. But for now, guys, enjoy it. Don't forget to subscribe and comment if you've got any questions about the fragrances. I'm sure we can hook up um, Chad to the conversation and he'll be happy to help. Speak soon. Gentlemen, hello. My name is Michael and welcome to my... No, welcome to Chad's video where I'm going to be starring for three minutes or five minutes or 30 seconds, depends on how kind Chad is, where I'm going to be talking about fragrances uh, and what I think about some samples that he was kind enough to send to me. Don't be fooled, I'm no fragrance expert. I'm just going to tell you my honest opinion about whatever he chose me to sniff. Same as Chad, I've got a YouTube channel, Men's Finest, uh, somewhere here, maybe Chad is going to be kind enough uh, to actually uh, link it up. I also make pocket squares and bow ties here in the UK. So if you happen to dress smartly and you want to find out some of the pocket squares and bow ties that we do, go and check it out somewhere. I bet that Chad wouldn't actually link it up here. He would never ever link it up here. Never ever. Me and Chad met actually at StyleCon this year. Uh, at uh, 2017 StyleCon, right now it's going to be called Menfluential. Uh, you Aaron Marino and Antonio Centeno, uh, two mega stars of the YouTube, uh, organized that conference. So I highly recommend you go and check it out. Uh, Chad's going to be there, no doubt, uh, next year. I could be there next year as well. Who knows? Who knows? Before we start sniffing, let me just show you what I'm normally using. There are two major brands that I've been uh, rocking lately. One is Paco Rabanne Million. You've probably seen that. Smells, oh fucking hell, it smells really good. St I still love it. The second one is Comdes Gar Garcon, Garcon. I'm sure I butchered that, but that's the sort of um, packaging. Oh my God, still smells amazing. So that's the second fragrance I've got. So that these are those two that I'm actually uh, wearing. I've opened it up and what I've got in the package, there are two mysterious pouches. They smell already. You know, whenever I buy something new, especially if it's like a leather uh, shoes or jacket or anything like that, I like to sniff it. Well, you don't do that, do you? Let's open the first one. Let's have a look. Right, so the first pouch has got a uh, three samples in them. So the instruction is to actually spray it on a piece of paper um, and then sniff it. Fair enough, I can do that. There is my piece of paper. I'm gonna wave it just so I can clear the air. This is my first try, first fragrance is Tom Ford Azure Lime. God, oh my god. <laughs> this is amazing. Oh that's a that's a very um lime, definitely, but it's kind of a spicy one as well. It's, it's worth my while. Like someone with a little toothpick just just you know did that to you to your nose. But it's very it's very nice. I wonder if I can smell anything else after three samples. We'll see. Right, smell number two is Le Labo. Bergamot 22. Chad mentioned as well that these fragrances are actually very expensive. Okay, you ready? Oh, 
Oh, this is different. This is more sort of like a night evening wear fragrance to me. It reminds me of Ocean. I don't know why. But oh my god. Is this good or what? I could smell like that. Oh my god. Smell it. Of a kind of a wooden smell. As if there was... I wonder if it's a if it's a it's a wood that is actually you know the paper is made from, whether it somehow brought those components or or is there actually a wood smell in I think that's number one so far. Tom Ford, you number second. Number three is Creed. Green Irish Tweed. How a green Irish tweed could possibly smell like? Fresh piece of paper. Yeah, tissue doesn't doesn't smell at all, so that's good. Uh, Creed Green Irish Tweed. Here we go. Stubborn. Oh. Oh my God. That smell like some sort of green apple, green lime. Something that it's ah, uh, it's it's like a fruit, but it's also a vegetable. Like maybe a paprika, maybe green paprika. Oh, very strong, deep. Where a, where a green paprika would just smell here, you go deep and then come out. Wow, this this is also very nice. You wouldn't want to go out there and smell like that every day. Certainly not. La Loba is number one. Green Tweed number two, number one and a half, and sorry Tom Ford, you last so far. Jesus, this Creed smell is nice. Wow, 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 wow. Okay, so far so good. Three fragrances done, three more to go. So that's the second pouch. Uh, let me just open it up. Surprise, surprise. Three more samples. Oh, it's interesting, one of them has got a different color. Oh, it's interesting because Creed Aventus is barely there. As if... So maybe that's the most expensive one because they barely put it there. Free sample. Says on the top. Are we ready? Piece of paper. Clear the air. Oh. oh my god this is this is actually a very strong smell um it's kind of a uh, reminds me of uh back in the day my dad used to use something as strong as that you know aftershave kind of thing back in your communist poland uh, you would actually have Loads of similar notes. Reminds me of my granddad and my dad straight away. Very masculine though. Kind of a sweet note at the end. I think it's perfect for sort of aftershave. Uh, so you had a clean cut and now you just want to apply something to smell super masculine. I think that's going to be perfect for that. Very masculine. If you are man enough to wear it, you should wear it. What we've got now is Bond number nine. Bleaker Street, I like it because it sounds very British. My piece of paper that smells like nothing, because it's nothing. Right, let's just, let's just spray that onto it. Oh, because it smells like a room uh, full of nice clothes, full of... Uh, sort of old English style tailoring. That's what's in my head when I'm smelling this. It's so hard to explain very good fragrances. As I warn you, I'm not an expert, but I know what I like. And I like this one. I could easily smell like this, walking about of the, yeah, streets of Liverpool, no problem. I'll be the uh, nicest smelling guy in here. On the other hand, there's actually nothing special about it. 
Hmm. Bond number nine. You okay? Is Ormond the Jane? Ormond man. That's uh, the one with different colour. The likely more sort of yellow. It looks like you pee when you had enough to drink and you're not dehydrated. That's what it looks like. Chad, I'm sure you're going to be super disappointed with my explanation of fragrances. This is, again, a, an absolutely blank, not smelling piece of paper. I confirm. Now we've got this Ormond J, a a light shade of piss. Let's have a look. Shit, the applicator broke. I'm an engineer, I can work this out, no doubt. Need to make sure I don't spray this in my eyes. Bit of that comes out. I think I'm enough to sniff it. Oh! Oh, I like you! Oh my god, this smells like a girl. Oh, it's very overwhelming, very powerful smell. Oh my god. I would definitely look at whoever's gonna wear that. But is that a man's smell? There is no oak, there is no cigars, there is no men's fashion, sort of classic menswear in this smell. There is... I can smell beach, maybe some party on a beach. That would go well with old fashioned, that's the one. A whiskey mixed with um, other herbs and a bit of a smoke coming out. That's the old fashioned smell, that's what I was smelling. Yes. I like it because I like old fashioned. I'll drink anything, to be honest. Okay, time for the final verdict. So I've tested six fragrances, uh, they all smell amazing, apart from Tom Ford. I think I've got a winner. And the winner of 2017 Sniffing Contest for Chad is... Ormond J, Ormond Man, surprise, surprise, a little sort of yellowing piss uh, that I initially thought actually beat all of them. When you spray this, you're actually not walking on the earth anymore, you're probably slightly above the ground, you, you, you're levitating, I think that's what this smell does to you. I'm keeping this. Da! That's it! Smelling, sniffing contest is over. I um, I really enjoy that. That was uh, um, that was something I normally don't do on my channel, but I I, I very much enjoyed it. I, I, you know, we as man very often get scared about trying new things, trying new pocket square, trying new suit, trying new combination of colors. We kind of go into the same narrow fields, and same goes with fragrance. Um, I've been using this for probably last two years now. I like it, it's okay, I'm fine with it, but boy, you know, uh, are there all the smells out there? Which, you know, I'm not exposed to, I don't experience, you know, if you go to normal high street chain, um, they've got all the same. Stay fashionable, smell nice, thank you so much.